Travelling along easily, second. On the fence, third, Little Hercules. Then the favourite right behind them, Art Series. The Sebring filly travelling fourth, and Pike bides his time. As they come around the home corner, Metallic Queen had shifted away from the rail. The shoe back second from last, and then load the musket. Ruby Amiss led them at the 300. Pike makes his move now. Art Series comes after her under the whip. Lob City down on the inside, Little Hercules with the shoe starting to run on. Pike gets busy with 150 to go on the favourite and she hits the lead Art Series from Ruby and missed the shoe down the outside. It's another one coming up though for Art Series and Art Series much too good again. Beat Ruby and missing the shoe. Little Hercules fourth in from Lob City. Then came Metallic Queen and trailing them in last of all is Load the Musket. Salubrious the scratching and another one for Art Series to make it four victories straight. Philly by Sebring. Number three, Art Series, written by William Pike for Darren McAuliffe. Strong lineup of runners this afternoon from here and also, of course, over there on the East Coast in Melbourne as well. Ruby Amiss, again having to be content with second and the shoe first up runs third ahead of Little Hercules on the rail. Art Series $1.80 and $1.04. Ruby a miss one forty in the shoe, one fifty in a time of one seventeen seven two. By Sebring from left alone for impressive racing. Jake, Emma, Peter Antonis, Adam McGrath, K Phoenix A. Ritchie, Jane Haviler Burt, Gavin Burt, C. Hams, D. Shrembry, R. Mackenzie, D. Green. W. Pike aboard the winner, scoring by three quarters with a half a length, second and third. And the sectional 34.66. Race two, the gate bar and bistro handicap for fillies and mares at 12.38 today. Number 11, Secret Doubt, is the one scratching. Ten starters in the second on the card. We might take you down now to the enclosure. Mark Olmus uh, back from Sydney during the course of the week. He's with Mark Warwood today as well, bringing you our racing coverage here from Belmont Park and another flying start to the day after getting that great run throughout from Pike to Art Series. As we take you down now to the winner's enclosure. Thank you, Darren. Yes, great to be back. And I'm joined by Kevin Berry of Impressive Racing. Now, Kevin, that was a, a nice performance. We've said it all before. She's very professional, but uh, where to next? Uh, the paddock, I think now, just for her, just look after her and get her ready for the um, the spring, is it spring, spring classics, yeah. 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 So champion fillies ultimately the goal next spring, or so you'd think something like that, or maybe a guineas or something. I don't know. Yeah, guineas would like to like to go, but yeah, champion fillies would certainly be on the cards. Yeah. Now tell us about this race here. Early part, she didn't look to be herself, and she had to be dug up a bit to to stay with them. What were your thoughts on that? Oh, they stood in the gates for a long time, so it's always scary. You never know how horses are going to react to standing there for so long. So, Just a quick word, of course, military rain went around at Flemington earlier. Uh, what did you make of the performance? I didn't like the straight at all, so get her to Mooney Valley, get her around the corner and see if we can get an approved performance. Well, Kevin, thank you for joining us and uh, well done with Art Series. Yes. Kevin Berry there, the... Uh, the uh, representative of impressive racing there. Philly Art Series by Sebring. Just a, a really nice professional performance. And when William Pike asked her to go in the finish, wasn't it a lovely dash and turn of speed? It's very serious, Philly. They've always said Oaks and champion Phillies. Uh, this spring will be her target. William Pike just talking to connections. We'll catch up with him shortly after he... Debriefs with uh, breeder and winning owner Jake Anthony is a really nice effort. We'll grab William Pike just shortly. He's just uh, in a few more moments. We'll get William Pike before he weighs in. Mark a nice performance there. It was an excellent performance there and a great run by the shoe on return. So, um, you know, two, you know, two horses have got pretty good futures. So. William Pike just about to weigh in. We'll grab him for a quick word just to see how the filly travelled in the run. She's obviously got a lot of ability. Four in a row now, William. Uh, gee, that was a pretty painful watch in the straight. But tell us about the early part of the race because you had to dig her up to, to stay with them a bit. Yeah, um, you know, tactics, it's always a key feature. I... Uh, even at one stage, I think I popped off to the three deep line down the back because I didn't want to. I didn't want to go to the fence. Um, I knew she was good enough if I just kept her out of trouble. Uh, now tell us, you obviously think she has ability, and you got that trust in her. 
tell us how you think she'll go over the 1600 metres and then the 2400 metres potentially next year of an Oaks. A um, bit early to tell all those sort of things. Uh, all I can really say off of today's race, while I didn't draw the whip, I was near my top, so um, she still has to earn it. She, we haven't got three lengths up our sleeve. She's still earning her victories, but um, I'm lucky enough, I'm, you know, she responds quite well under hands and heels. And just quickly before we let you go, the track out there, how's conditions? Well, see, after, after winning, they're good, but uh, look, they feel like they run fast times. Well done, Willie. Thank you. William Pike there, the winning rider, uh, wins on Art Series in the first. The English Insurance Brokers Plate over 1,300 metres.